What's going on everybody? Today I am uh, bringing an overlooked product that is on your Harley currently that's really plain and I found a company that's a really awesome company to work with and they have a solution for you. So stick around and let's see what that solution is. <laughs> So I was cruising around Instagram and seen a giveaway that a company was doing called Motac LLC. Now, this is your factory Harley Davidson tether to hold your saddlebag lids open. Nothing really wrong with it. It's just, it was really plain and I wanted something different. So I had made a comment about it would be cool if I could do my logo on it. And I really did not think they was going to be able to do that. But, guess what? They do it, and it's turned out really, really good. Uh, so, why get this and keep your, you know, your factory tethers? Okay, so, with this one, there's no pocket. Like, absolutely no pocket. Just a piece, piece of fabric. This one, on the other hand, is made really well. Craftsmanship in it is really impressive. They got their tag actually sewed on the side. I love that. And what really sets this apart is it's got a pocket. So for you married guys, if you're wanting to hide money from your wives, good hiding place because we know she ain't going to look in the bag, open it up, and then go through this. She ain't going to know. Uh, for those of you that don't have to hide money, um, yeah, you can put your registration in it, your insurance card. I mean, really whatever you want to do. Uh, inside of the package here comes this little bag here. And it has directions. And although the directions, it's all self-explanatory, really. But they send you two sheets. They also have other pieces in here for the other option of the molly straps, which I don't have the molly straps. I didn't want to go that route. I wanted something custom. But let's see. All right, but you can see that's kind of like the design of the molly straps. Hopefully that's coming out pretty good. If not, you can check it out on the website. Um, come with a nice business card with the video link on the back it also comes with alcohol wipes because apparently some of them may need velcro or something i didn't read a lit i didn't read the directions you know me i don't read directions but i can stick them inside my tether and it also comes with the tool so if you don't have a set of tools and you're not mechanically inclined it doesn't matter you can still remove these four screws and put them on and i'm about to show you how right now okay so the first thing you want to do is put a blanket down so you do not scratch your bags because that would suck and then you take the supplied torx wrench and remove these two screws and these screws do go in a certain place because these are for plastic so do not mix them up and inside of it you do have to remove this, push a little hard on it, pull on the other side, there's a piece of sticky glue. Just take it off and insert it into the new tether. Kind of line your holes up and then push back down on that glue spot and that'll keep that from falling out. 
and then repeat for the top on the inside of the bag. Same thing on this, wiggle it, push it, grab a hold of the bar, pull it out, tape still on there. This one, throw away, or keep whatever you want to do. Now I'm sure if I'd have read the directions, there may be a right and left to this thing, but I don't like reading directions. So mine's going to go in like this. You could probably flip it around that way, but I like this this way, so I went with them this way so I can see the logo when I put them. So these I already have Loctite on them. I'm not replacing a Loctite. I've only pulled them out real fast, so I'm just going to put these back in. And I'm just making these good and tight. Once you start feeling pressure on them, on a finger, there's no need to go any tighter. There's probably a torque spec on it, but you're not going to use a torque wrench on this. Let's be real about it. Bottom, we do the same thing. Screws in. If you can get up through the hole. Okay. Now that we got them through the hole, you can see the holes here. I got to maneuver this saddlebag to get them started. And I'm only putting enough on it to grab so I can get this side over here started. And then I will park them back. Put it in, use your one finger, until it comes to a stop, don't go any tighter. No need to do that because this is all plastic. If you strip it out, it's not going to be a good day. And that's how you install it. You got your screws here and right here. So I'm going to reset this up. And we're going to finish the video. All right. As you can see, super simple install. Most important things that you need to know about this installation is the machine screws go on the inside of the bag and the coarse screws go into the saddle bag lids. So do not over tighten those because that would be another project itself to replace those bag supports and then reinstall them. The other thing, you do not have to take the bags off the bike like I did. 
I took them out and brought them inside because it's hot outside and I wanted the AC and I'm in my studio. So why not? You absolutely can do them on the bike. You don't have to take them off. Motac does suggest though when you install them to leave the saddle bags lid open for at least 24 hours for them to like stretch out and kind of gain the memory of where they're going to be folding up and all that when the lid's shut. So, if you like this product as much as I do, go pick you up a set, especially if it's custom, LLC. Give them a follow out on Instagram. And if you want to order these, go to www.motacllc.com. There are a variety of options that you have that you can go ahead and order, or you can go like I did and have the custom option and talk to Justin about that. Really awesome guy to deal with. I would do it again in a heartbeat. So with that being said, I'm not going to tie everybody up with a super long video. So if you don't mind, go over there and like this video. Give me some comments. I know I know there's some ways some questions about it. I will answer them honestly. And uh, go hit that subscribe button for me too. It, it helps me in the long run. Anyways, y'all have a good one. Get out and ride, and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.